Hey guys, welcome to the Fi Tonight channel. According to the Boxing Stance portal, the WBA lightweight title holder American Jerwan Davis will fight with a mandatory challenger in the person of compatriot Rolando Romero on June 4. The very venue of the match remains unknown. This confrontation will be broadcast through the sale of paid broadcasts on the Showtime channel and will be the main event of the show from the RFC promotion company El Heyman. Initially, the boxers were supposed to fight on December 5 at the Staples Center Arena in Los Angeles, but Romero had problems with the law, which is why Davis had to fight with Mexican Isaac Cruz. The 27-year-old tank not without problems defeated Cruz by Uranimo's decision, facing the most difficult test in all his 26 fights in the professional ring. It is known that in the fight with Cruz, Davis aggravated the injury to his left hand, but it doesn't require surgery, which will allow Gervonta to start preparing for the fight with Romero on time. Regular and franchise WBC lightweight champion American Devin Haney and Australian George Cambosas Jr. are close to an agreement. They will soon determine the absolute division, according to promoter Adi Hearn. The Australian also owns all the other belts in this weight category – WBA Super, IBF and WBO. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 400 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repost to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Inside the ring, fights, preview and more with Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya. Dazn and Golden Boy Promotions has made an official. Ryan Garcia's return to the ring will begin in the Alamo City. The undefeated lightweight King Rai Garcia will face Ghana's Emmanuel Tagoya in the 12th round lightweight board on Saturday, April 9, in the Alamo Dome. Tickets have already gone in sale and can be purchased on Ticketmaster.com or the Alamo Dome box office. Wrist surgery. Garcia spent last October preparing for his WBC title eliminator against Jorge Diaz when the unthinkable happened to the 23 year old. He damaged his right wrist during a sparing session. The injury was so severe he needed surgery. April's fight in the Alamodome will be his first since going under the knife. There is going to be no rust at all, saying Garcia. When I start aspiring again, it's uh, like my timing's there, my speed's there. I'm doing everything I normally do. There is nothing that really alarms me. It's always a big concern, De La Hoya added. All you have to do is believe in your abilities, get in the best shape possible, do all the therapy on your wrist and hope for the best. You never know what's going to happen in the ring. Challenging trainers. Last week's media round should have centered around Garcia's return to the ring, and stood in future question after question about Garcia's former trainer at Reynoso and his relationship with former mentor Canelo Alvarez. Garcia split his partnership with Reynosa due to Reynosa's lack of involvement in his training, according to reports. Jaguzan in Garcia is a new man in his corner. I feel good, my work ethic is always the same. I train hard in everything I do, Garcia said. I'm excited to just be in the ring. Joe is Joe and Eddie is Eddie and Ryan is Ryan. You are going to see that. We will see her the truth. The truth is always in the ring, Garcia added. That's the best thing about boxing. It's the most honest sport in the world. If I am not working hard, this will be shown April 9th. Mental health. There has never been a time like the present where it was encouraged for athletes to take care of one's mental health. It has often been a topic to be avoided or else people started to question athlete dogness or commitment. Social media criticism has only made the issue worse, and King Ray has almost 9 million followers on Instagram alone. That was part of the reason why Garcia had to take a step away from the boxing in 2021. Garcia walked away from training to deal with mental health. Garcia walked away from training to deal with mental health issues. 
Taking a step back and really care about your mental health is more important than people realize. Garcia explained. People make mistakes because they hold it in so much. I think speaking about it will help people. There is people telling me that I have saved their lives. That's way more important than boxing. Garcia went on to explain Tuesday that he has a Snapchat series coming out soon that focuses on mental health. Yet, even with all the good he has tried to do to help people face those issues while battling his own, Garcia told Timmy Z on Sunday that boxing fans have given him mixed reactions for those efforts. It warms my heart. It's like purpose. Say Garcia when asked about the positive influence he's had on others dealing with mental health issues. Of course, I'm here to become the best fighter in the world and to do all the things I've set out to do, but I really get happiness from helping others and seeing others thrive and get better and live life good. That's what matters to me a lot. Ryan Garcia opens up on Canelo Alvarez's criticism and reveals why he cannot hate on a boxing superstar. Ryan Garcia has insisted that Canelo Alvarez is too great a fighter for him to continue a public field with. The superstar boxing short coach Eddie Reynoso until the 23-year-old's move to Draguzin last month, and Garcia has had his discipline questioned in some point criticism by the Mexican. Garcia shot back with Twitter on Tuesday, stating that Canelo didn't know the facts as he had in fact been considering a new trainer since February 2020. I still think he's a great fighter. The American side has quoted by Boxing Sense. I can't hate on him. He does his thing. He works hard too. It's just the situation we are in right now. It's going to pass. We will probably be cool later on. If not, that will probably be on him because I'm ready to be cool right now. Garcia's the next fight takes place in April against Ghana's former world champion Emmanuel Tagore as he continues his quest for a title shot after 21 consecutive wins to open his pro career. Given Canelo's questioning, the highly rated young star is keen to dispel and adopt with a convincing performance in the ring. The things he said were kind of shocking, but I kind of already addressed it on Twitter, he stated. I just hit him with the facts. I was kind of tired of him that he kept coming at my work ethic. I kind of got fed up, I have shown nothing but respect, the love. And I kind of finally was like, alright, I'm going to speak my mind and leave it all that. I'm going to destroy it come April 9. Actually, the best thing about this is that boxing is the most truthful sport in the game. So when you see me step on the ring April 9, you will see if I have a good work ethic or not. Authoritative coach Robert Garcia is sure that it is too early to talk about a possible mega fight between former world champion free weight Vasily Lomachenko and WBO title holder in the second featherweight Shakur Stevenson. The special is considered both boxers' favorites in the upcoming fights against George Cambosos and Oscar Wilde's, but warns that rivals Lomachenko and Stevenson may present a surprise. To fight each other, Lomachenko and Stevenson still need to win the next fights. Oscar Wilde has already proved that he is capable of surprising. The same goes for the Cambosos. I think Loma will beat him, but George has become very hungry. His victory over Tafibo Lopez was huge. Perhaps he thinks, there is no way I'm going to lose. He will do everything not to lose, said Robert Garcia. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to get 400 subscribers on my channel.